Welcome to the Museum of Artifacts That Made America and the story of how one watch made it possible for a remarkable woman who couldn't see or hear to become a leading advocate for human rights. Born in Tuscumbia, Alabama in 1880, Helen Keller was just 19 months old when she contracted an unknown illness that left her deaf and blind and unable to verbally communicate. Keller learned how to converse with her family and others mainly through touch and gestures. At age six, her teacher Ann Sullivan taught her to fingerspell. It was a breakthrough for young Helen. She was able to converse with others for the first time. And when she was 12, she met a man named John Hitz, superintendent of a school for the deaf in Washington, D.C., who gifted her a unique object, a watch that you didn't need to see to read. The Swiss touch watch had a case with pins placed around the edge of the dial that corresponded to the hours in the day. The clock's pins pushed in and out automatically to show the hour, meaning Keller could tell the time with her fingers. The pocket timepiece connected Keller to the ebb and flow of life around her, giving a newfound independence to someone who lived in a world of silence and darkness. In 1904, she became the first American with deafblindness to earn a college degree. She went on to write 12 books and over 475 essays and speeches using a specially designed typewriter, and also became a pioneering human rights activist, campaigning for women's suffrage, accessible birth control, and an end to child labor. As a member of the Socialist Party and co-founder of the American Civil Liberties Union, Keller's left-leaning politics made her a target for the FBI, who kept a file on her movements and writings. But that did not stop her from continuing to fight for positive change. Nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize, in 1964, she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And apart from one time, when she left her prized possession in a New York taxi, only to finally track it down in a pawn shop, her life-changing watch never left her side. How does the ability to navigate the world impact our ability to change it? 